welcome back to a new video. Today I will be sharing with you the 14 products that I found in 2014 that became my favorites. So basically all these products I either found them in 2014 or maybe I did find them at the end of 2013 but they're so good that are worth mentioning and just letting you know that are products that I truly truly love so this is a drugstore edition I will do a high-end one that I'm getting ready for but anyways if you want to know those 14 products that really impressed me in this 2014 then just keep watching this video so Thanks. i'm gonna go ahead and get started i'll probably you'll hear some noise in the background i tried to film this a few times my kids are at home they're going back to school tomorrow so that might be the noise that you could hear but let me get started the first thing i want to mention it's a face primer this is something that i discovered this year this is baby skin by maybelline i have a full review on this primer that I will link in the description box down below but basically this is a primer that I love because it kind of sits on top of my skin and I know it sounds bad but that way my foundation doesn't actually go inside my pores and sometimes I'm trying to use a very long lasting foundation or that I can use for the entire day and those usually kind of stain the skin and it goes into my pores the most uh, that happens with my MAC Pro Longwear one and that happens with my Maybelline Stays um, I can't remember the name of that one but they you know once they dry on your skin they stay there and sometimes I feel like they emphasize my pores so using this primer underneath I think it's under six dollars and it's an amazing product I don't know your experience with it. I've heard people, some, some people love it, some people hate it. In my experience, it was an amazing primer. And the next product is something that I have a first impression and this is the NYX BB Cream. This is my favorite BB Cream from the drugstore. It used to be my L'Oreal one and this one, it's kind of easier to apply and I think that's why I like this the most. But let me tell you, uh, on that first impression, I compared with my Garnier BB Cream. So if you want to see a comparison as far as coverage, as far as the coloring and stuff, check that video down below. I love this product because whenever I don't have the time to do my makeup, I can throw this in my bag and just apply it as a moisturizer and it evens out my skin tone. It doesn't cover freckles. It doesn't cover, you know, if you have a huge breakout on your skin, it's not going to cover it, but it's going to blend into your skin and it's gonna perfect it but it, it's gonna look like your skin you're not gonna be able to tell the difference the only downside of this is that it has three colors and the darkest one is the one I use and I'm NC35 in MAC and this is the color, color golden but if you can find a match for your skin I would absolutely recommend it unless you have a very I don't know complicated kind of skin and you need a lot of coverage yeah this might not be the one that works for you the next product I have a first impression on and is the physicians formula youthful wear foundation this is in the color medium I could use a um, darker color right now it's kind of too light for me but I love this foundation it's kind of a mousse foundation uh, it is thick and it's not full coverage, it's a medium coverage, but it gives you the most, I don't know, flawless finish. And I'm not talking because it covers everything, but because it mattifies your skin, but it makes it look natural. It's just one of the most uh, amazing foundations I've tried from the drugstore. I do have other ones that I like and that I mentioned here and there, but this is the one that I think it's unique or different enough that I should mention and recommend to you. I also have a concealer and this concealer, it's in my project pan because it's getting old, not because I don't like it. But if I had to buy just one concealer for the rest of my life from the drugstore, drugstore this would be it and this is the Sonia Kashak hidden agenda in light I could go a darker one I think it, that would be okay and that's what I'm going to try to get next time but I can still pull off these colors it has a powder so you can set your concealer with this powder it's kind of yellow tone so it's like for your under eye area only or maybe the t-zone if you want to highlight the area too it has a lot of uses I mean it's just four things in one product and it's ten dollars so I think it's an amazing product and I would recommend it. Of course, this is the one concealer that is tried and true and I always come back to this. One of those products that it might be in the market for a really long time and I just never 
never got around to try it is the Wet n Wild Take On The Day Eyeshadow Primer. This is from the Fergie collection. I think this is very comparable to the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Very comparable. I will do a test you know a test and work it and do it on camera so we can see if it lasts the same time and all that stuff I will do that soon but for right now I can tell you that this is the one that I would repurchase from the drugstore it's very easy to blend it doesn't remain tacky or I don't know sticky so your eyeshadows don't blend it's just something that is gonna emphasize the color of your eyeshadows and it's gonna make them last a really long time Maybelline color tattoos is one of my obsessions I mean sometimes I don't even use them enough but that's one of the things that I love to buy this year I discovered two colors that if you were to ask me what color should I get that from the color tattoo line I would say these two these are from the leather collection. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I love matte eyeshadows. So when I found a matte base, I was like all over it. I like the other colors, but if I have to recommend you two, and you know, I think that it would go with every skin tone, this would be it. The first one is the color Creamy Beige, and it's more like a tan color. So for me, I can correct my lid area and make it even to apply my eyeshadows. If you're fair, maybe it will be like a tannish kind of color or, you know, not so deep kind of brown. But nonetheless, I think it's amazing and I love it. It lasts a really long time. I mean, it lasts all day on my eyelids and I can use it by themselves or I can use them underneath other eyeshadows. And it's such an amazing formula. These two colors, absolutely recommended. Next are blushes. This one has been around for a really long time. And these are the Milani blushes. Uh, in specific, this one. This is Bellissimo Bronze. If you have a medium skin tone or a darker, try this one. I know Luminoso is one of the most popular ones. But I feel like this one should be more hyped because this is more pigmented than Luminoso. I think like Luminoso, if you have a fair skin tone, it might be really pigmented for you. But for me, it's kind of highlighter kind of color. Bellissimo Bronze, it does show up as a bronzy color. It has a little bit of shimmer. So if you don't like shimmer on your blushes, then this might not be for you. But I know Milani has another line that I haven't tried with matte uh, blushes. So I don't know, maybe you want to check that out. But if you do have, or if it doesn't bother you that this has some kind of shimmer, absolutely recommend it. Then I have something for the brows and if you've been with me for this past 2014 you know that I've been kind of obsessed with brows. I could sit here and talk to you about everything that I've tried this past year but I'm just going to talk about something that it stood out when I opened the drawer where I keep my eyebrow products and this is the Milani um, Brow Shaping Clear Wax. I love this to apply it underneath the brow powder that I'm going to be using and it makes it last a lot longer. It kind of shapes your eyebrows at the same time so you can comb on top of this and you can, you know, keep the shape. If you're not going to use anything on your eyebrows, you can do that. And I love to use this for grooming because I like to apply this, comb them up and then cut it. I know there's a lot of people that like longer hair in their eyebrows so they can look fuller that's not the look that I like for myself or for my eyebrows and so I do groom them and I think that this is one of those products that I use in so many different ways and I, that I discovered this year that are worth mentioning one of the things that I know that it's been around for a really long time and I have quite a few friends that do love this line from Wet n Wild are the matte lipsticks this ones are from the 199 line it's not the gray packaging that I think those are 99 cents. This ones are 199 and out of all the matte lipsticks that I have from the drugstore in my collection, these are the ones that last the most. And they're kind of drying. That's one thing that I should mention. If you don't like um, that feeling or if you're a uh, lips chap very easily this might not be for you but what I do is I apply a lip balm underneath any of these lipsticks and they make my lips not only softer so when I apply the lipstick and you know it doesn't feel that dry but at the same time it kind of blends them even better they do last a long long time and they have a huge variety of colors matte lipsticks but comfortable these are the Maybelline matte new matte collection oh my gosh this has been one of the most I don't know 
products that I love the most this year. I have a few colors that I've been finding here and there, and I will show you in a close-up of all these products, but basically the colors that I did love the most were, and I still love them, is Touch of Spice and Craving Coral. Those two are very pigmented and dark, but the formula of these lipsticks is kind of, um, it's creamier, it's softer, it's more of, a, more of a balmy kind of feeling. It doesn't last as long as the Wet n Wild ones, but I think it's because they're more creamy. Having said that, you can still see a stain at the end of the day, so I do love this. I don't mind reapplying these products. And I know I heard a lot of people saying that they were kind of hard to reapply because you have to wipe them off. I don't find that true for me or my case, so I do love these lipsticks. One of the bronzers that I talk at the beginning of the year and I can't get enough of is this Sonia Kashak bronzer. This is the illuminating bronzer in the color Goddess. One day I was browsing through the Sonia Kashak aisle at Target and I found this one. This is very versatile. You can use it and apply it as a bronzer if you apply, you know, more product or you can apply less product and uh, use it as a highlighter. I mean, that's a very pigmented swatch, but I wanted the camera to kind of pick it up the color. So it's a nice bronzer that I can use during the summertime if I want more, I don't know, more drama or, you know, it's shimmery enough that I can apply more and make it more glamorous or apply less and still use it as a bronzer or use it as a highlight. If you haven't tried this bronzer from Sonia Kashak or any bronzers from Sonia Kashak, they're all really good, but this one is kind of special in my heart. I love loose powder, but they're not easy to store or to take with you whenever you need to touch up. Whenever I need to touch up, I need something that it doesn't give me more coverage, or at least that's what I usually want. Not something that gives me coverage, but something that I can blot and apply to mattify my T-zone. And the Elf one, and it's not something that I would keep in my purse because it's kind of messy. The one from Tarte, the Smooth Operator, I like it, but I wouldn't keep it in my purse. So this is from the Fergie collection and this is called Take On The Day Mattifying Powder. This is compact, it doesn't have a lot of product. I think it's about $4, but this is one of those products that it's especially great for touch-ups. So if you want a translucent powder, that you can take with you in your purse or that you want to touch up with, this is pretty good. And then it has a little sponge, something that you can use underneath here. I usually use a brush, but it's a nice thing to keep in your purse and keep yourself matte longer and keep your makeup looking good longer. Lastly, I have some lip liners. These ones are from the Jordana Easy Liner line. <laughs> and I discovered this recently, but I can't say enough good things about this. I think lip liners is one of those things that I don't want to invest a lot of money on. So once I discovered this ones, I was like, I need one of each color. I found them on sale at Walgreens for 58 cents. I think they're about $1.99 regular price, but they're really good. If you haven't tried them, I would recommend them. You can apply them and they're very creamy, but once they set, they kind of stay there and, they're and it makes your lipstick, you know, stay in inside the lines and not go all over the place such a good product and affordable that's one of the things that it really impressed me the most it's so affordable but at the same time it's a great quality something that I want to mention like an honorable mention or something have our lashes this year has been the year of my false lashes. I discover lashes, I learn how to put them on, and I can't get enough of them. I'm kind of obsessed, I try different um, styles, and I do like different styles for my eyes. But what I found that I do love the most are these two. This one, uh, the first one is the Kiss Ever Easy Lashes in number 11. I love those for filming or for tutorials and all that kind of stuff because they're very, you know, they're long, but they're not crazy long that are going to attach my eyebrows. So I do love those. And if I want to use something more subtle for the everyday life, let's say I'm going to go somewhere and I don't want to apply mascara or I feel like my eyes are kind of weird that day, then I apply the Salon Perfect ones. Look at that. It's just very full, but not as long as the number 11. So one for the everyday normal life and the other ones whenever I want to do something more dramatic for the night or for a tutorial, I would absolutely recommend them. If you know how to apply your lashes, you know, it becomes like a second na second nature and you do them really fast and they look very natural. So my advice, if you haven't used 
false lashes and you kind of gave up because you tried a few times and you thought you couldn't do it I would recommend to keep trying keep trying every single day or every time you're gonna wear makeup and eventually you're gonna get it it's easy it's just a matter of practice so keep practicing and you're gonna do good with that so anyways those were the, my 14 favorite products of 2014 if you have a blog or if you have a channel and you did this video please link link it in the comments down below so I can go check that out one of the things that I like the most uh, at the end of the year is not only look at the favorite products of the year but drugstore ones I mean something that I can go to the store and if I feel like buying something I can go and get it there so I hope that this was helpful for you if it was remember to thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so you can see my new videos coming up I upload new videos every week so thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video